Hello friends, this is Daniel Matello again. Many of you have asked me the same question in different ways. Daniel Matiola or Pastor Daniel, however you address me, why did you write the book Pharaoh's Prophets and Plagues? Many of you have been wondering why I wrote this book Pharaoh's Prophets and Plagues. And I agree with you that it's a good question. See, motives really matter a lot. The motive behind an action, why we have done something we've done or why we intend to do something we're doing matters a lot. I don't even just judge people or judge actions. Many times I want to find out about the motive. The word of God sets a good precedent. In Paul's writing to the believers in Corinth, in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, he talks quite a lot about the motive for ministry and why it needs to be love. Paul made statements like, if you have the tongues of angels, uh, you're nothing but a clanging symbol if the motive is not love. If you can make sacrifices, see, even if you give your body to be burnt, but if the motive is not love, it doesn't profit anything. So I welcome all of you who have asked that question, Pastor Daniel, why did you write the book? I'm going to share with you in this video a couple of reasons and hopefully in the next few videos I'm going to share with you more reasons why I wrote the book Pharaoh's Prophets and Plagues and thank you so much for those of you who have been reading it and have already started giving me some really positive feedback. The number one reason why I wrote this book is because I love God and I believe in his kingdom agenda. You see I, I have a revelation and understanding of how much he loved me. And because he first loved me and he loves me so much, I've learned to love him too. I've learned to love my creator. I've learned to love my king. I've learned to love God with all of my heart, all of my mind and all of my soul. And because I love him, I believe in his kingdom agenda. I don't view things happening in the world the way I used to anymore. Now I view things happening in the world from a perspective of God, what do you see? God, how does this relate to your kingdom? God, what does your heart um, have concerning this issue? What is your will concerning this issue? What is your kingdom agenda in this issue. So that was my first reason. Remember when Jesus taught his disciples about the issues of life and the things that you worry about in Matthew chapter 6. It's recorded in Matthew chapter 6. And he said, why do you worry about what you eat, what you drink, and what you put on and so on and so forth. And then finally in the 33rd verse, Jesus made this profound statement. He said, seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and then all other things will be added unto you. I'm learning to seek first God's kingdom and its righteousness, trying to understand his way of doing and being right and trying to understand his agenda concerning all things. So we had a global pandemic declared March 2020. What do you think I will do? Start seeking him, of course. Seeking him to understand, God, what's going on here and what is your kingdom agenda in all of this. So the first reason was because I began to get revelation from the Lord that I shared with our local church. I wish I could have been able to share this with a lot more people. I mean, for this was one occasion where I really felt like, oh God, I wish I had more influence. I wish I had a bigger platform. Not because I seek popularity, but because I was so passionate about sharing truth to, to, to come against the lies that was being disseminated by all of the mainstream platforms, media platforms, a lot of the mainstream media platforms and the social media platforms were propagating lies. Yes, I said it lies. They were sharing things that was contrary to what I felt the Lord was saying about the matter. Second reason why I wrote the book, because I felt a strong leading of the Lord that it was time for the body of Christ to develop eyesight, insight, and foresight. We are in the last days. Ladies and gentlemen, listening to me, you can no longer depend on what you read in the newspapers or what you uh, hear on BBC, ITV, uh, Fox, CNN, or any of these news media. You have to learn to keep your eyes open, eyesight. Make sure you're 
seeing what's going on around you. Please, please, please. I've met quite a number of Christians who would say things to me like, oh, I'm not bothered about politics. Oh, I'm not interested about global affairs. That is so wrong. Our assignment is to disciple the nations. How would you disciple the nations if you don't understand what's going on in the nations? If you don't understand what the cultural warfare is, if you don't understand what the different groups, particularly the Antichrist groups, the liberal groups, those who have a progressive agenda that is contrary to the kingdom agenda. You've got to know what they're doing. You've got to understand where we're at in the timeline of things. So very important is eyesight, paying attention to what's happening around you. Even if you can't spend an hour watching the news, at least listen to the headlines. And then the next thing you do is seek God to say, Father, would you give me some insight in what's going on here? When God began to give me insight about what was described as a global pandemic, he began to use the story of Moses and Pharaoh and the plagues in recorded in the book of Exodus. And the Lord began to say to me that what is being called a pandemic is the type of a plague. But this plague is being used by different sides. The, the wicked have concocted some plans that they wanted to do. And now you know some of these things have come out in the news now. That is the same people who did the gain in function experiment in Wuhan, China, where the virus leaked, are the same people who have been developing and pushing the vaccine agenda. But they had other agendas. Different groups had agendas that they wanted to advance by getting the whole world to be in a lockdown, by scaring the living daylight out of us, and of course, killing the vulnerable. So the Lord began to make me see all these different groups and the leaders of these different groups as pharaohs. He said, these are pharaohs and the plague is an example, or rather the, the pandemic, the COVID-19 was an example of a plague that was being used for this battle. But on the other side of this battle is the prophets, the children of God that should have insight understand what God is doing, what God is saying, and now be saying it to the world. Part of our ability to disciple the world is to be able to share the truth with the world in the time of great darkness. Ladies and gentlemen, not only do we have to keep our eyes open, we need to seek God for insight. The insight God gave me has helped me, my immediate biological family, my church family, the church that I pastor, to go through the pandemic without losses. No death, no incurable sickness in our midst. If anybody got the flu, I'm, I'm, I'm on record, I believe less than 10 out of the whole congregation, they were made well within a very short while. No vaccine, no medication. It was just the hand of the Almighty God because we had truth, we had revelation, we had the word of God we were standing on. And of course, the last one is foresight. Insight is to be able to get perception, understanding, interpret things happening around you from God's perspective. Foresight is now to know what is coming. So way back then in March, when I started saying, oh, I can see this is people trying to manipulate things in the earth. These are different groups of people trying to play fair. Some people didn't understand what I was talking about. And later on last year, when I began to say, okay, I can tell this is where this is going. It's all about an attempt for global vaccination. This is being pushed because somebody has an agenda of trying to put a number on the human being in the world. It's global vaccination. It's about having a number, some sort of barcode that represents everybody that comes under this and having a system of control. You know, healthcare used to be a private thing. I repeat, used to be a private thing. The issue of your healthcare was something you discussed privately with your medical doctors. Nothing was ever forced on anybody. Look around you now and pay attention to what's going on in the world and you can see where things are going. So foresight is being able to see where we're going to ahead of time so we can prepare appropriately. So I said to you, I will share with you the reasons why I wrote the book. This is just two reasons. I love God. I love his kingdom and his kingdom agenda for us as children to disciple the nation. So we can't be in darkness. We're supposed to be the light of the world. We better know what is going on in our world. But secondly, because I felt it was a wake up call for the body of Christ and the Lord put on my heart, challenge my, my sons and daughters 
for eyesight, insight, and foresight. Thank you very much. This is Daniel Matiola. Once again, God bless you.